It finally happened. It is a, a joyous, glorious day. Well, it's complicated. <laughs> so Rockstar was scheduled to drop their trailer for GTA 6 on the 5th. So yesterday, Tuesday morning at, I think it was 7 a.m. where I am, like 6 a.m. Pacific time. It was pretty early, but they were scheduled to do that. However, the night before at like, I think it was 5.30 p.m. I forget which time zone, but at 5.30 p.m., there was a leak on Twitter or X where somebody had gotten a hold of the trailer somehow. There's rumors and speculation. It might have been a YouTube employee that got on the back end. Could have been this or that. Who knows? But they got the trailer and they leaked it and it started spreading around. Within 30 minutes, Rockstar had struck the account and all instances of the trailer that went up. And within about half an hour after that, they had published the GTA 6 trailer on their own pages. So right out of the gate, it was kind of stumbling because it didn't go the way that they wanted it to go. However, the trailer is already, after a day, at 109 million views. Probably more because YouTube kind of is slow with updating views, especially on viral videos. So hugely successful video, literally the most successful video in YouTube history. It beat out a Mr. Beast video for the most views in a single day um, after just like 18 hours or 19 hours. Like it was crazy how many people were watching this. Oh yeah, you remember the uh, you remember the 301 view counter? Yeah, yeah. That it's like that. If if that was still around, this would be stuck at 301 views today. Like even still. So started a little clunky, but it is here and we actually do have the trailer to look at. And basically there's some, some limitations. I can't just hit play because Rockstar copyright strikes their own trailers, which is extremely rare. I can't think of any other major publishers that do that regularly, but Rockstar does. So, um, I'm just going to kind of skip around it. We'll look at stills because I think that'll work better. But I mean, right at the outset, what strikes me is the color, the color palette. We had seen like the, the leaks of some of the concept art. We had seen concepts for the, the logo, which of course now is like purple. Um, and then leading down into the warm oranges and yellows and this color palette, I mean, again, look at the little frame in the bottom left versus the logo. They have managed to so precisely match the the artistic design of the logo and the game's vibe that they are even getting it passively in the environment using natural lighting. And I cannot even begin to describe how crazy impressive and cool that is. Like... It's kind of the chicken and the egg, which came first. Did they come up with this lighting scheme when you're out exploring and running around and navigating, and then they decided to use this color palette for the logo, or was it vice versa? Who knows, but they've managed to really nail the tone. The things that jump out to me when I saw this um, personally was, for one, we have the prison in the background back here. So there is a prison, um, which we're going to see more of in just a, a few minutes. There was also a prison in GTA five in the desert area, but it wasn't really used for a whole lot, but it seems like this one is going to have a much bigger role. And then also this is perhaps really stupid, but it's just something that stood out to me considering this game is set in basically Miami. Um, there's a pickup truck bringing a boat on a trailer, which to me suggests that you could actually have boats that you purchase and that you can carry around the map and drop and deploy in different areas and stuff. And I think that that's super cool because I like boating. Beyond this, they go on after that. We skip forward to some barbed wire, again, maintaining the color palette. Not much to say here. Then they skip forward and we get our first look at Lucia or Lucia. I don't know how it's expected to be pronounced, but right off the bat, I mean, the, the quality of the lighting is, I think, what stands out. Is this the best character model we've seen in games to this point? I'm honestly not sure. There's been some amazing work done by, like, you know, Naughty Dog. But the lighting quality and post-processing is where it's not even close. Like, it's, it's just not even close. It's just crazy. Like, Rockstar is really, really good at 
the the ambient lighting at cinematic lighting in every little bitty thing and i'll continue to point this out as we go through the trailer like there's so many little bitty things involved with this that it's it's kind of hard to uh put into words you can see everything from the shallow depth of field that's managed to be done perfectly like without any notes whatsoever to the god rays and the shafts of light coming in the warmth and the subsurface scattering where the light hits her skin and then diffuses through the skin realistically and then bounces back out so there's a slight glow to it there's just so much little detail involved with it it is wildly impressive um and when I talk about cinematic lighting, I mean, there's there's a concept. It's called Rembrandt lighting, and it goes back to Rembrandt, shocker, the painter. And he kind of pioneered this concept for basic lighting, which is that you have a key light, your subject, the camera, and then a reflector to give kind of some light fill. And then usually there's also a, a catch light on the back end to light up the hair to separate you from the background, but it's characterized by a triangle that appears on the cheek. So you can see here, there's a triangle on the cheek and that's a, a telltale sign of Rembrandt lighting. Okay. And you can see it in all of these paintings by Rembrandt. If you look at any like really professional photographer, or really cinematic looking picture, you're probably going to see these little remnants of, of Rembrandt lighting with the triangle. Okay. So now that I've said it, you're never going to be able to unsee it. Okay. <laughs> everywhere you look, everywhere you look. And in this case, you're going to see the same exact things are employed all over this trailer because again, Rockstar is just that good with lighting, but they can put a scene into the office of like a prison administrator or parole officer. I'm not sure what her job is, but they can still have extremely cinematic lighting. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. As they continue on, I mean, there's some light dialogue that I don't know if there's a whole lot to take away from it, but then they cut to sequences of boats driving or catamarans driving. We see sharks and dolphins and every little bit of it is just freakishly beautiful. Like it's just insane. I saw somebody do a side-by-side -side comparison showing the game, like compared to the real life shot. Somebody went out to this beach with a drone and captured at the exact same angle, the same shot. And I think it looks better in the game. <laughs> like no joke. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. Um, and the, the level of depth and detail involved with all of this is just crazy. It, it's just wild. Right off the bat, it set, makes a really good first impression and sets the tone. Um, they continue to go on. I mean, you can see the city seems pretty expansive. As they continue to clip along, we see apartment buildings. There's a ton of detail where you can see it's not just the same exact balcony copied and pasted all over the place. Like this one has what looks like maybe a pool donut on the the um, uh, deck walkout. And then over here, there's like a lawn chair. And then here they have towels hung over. There's a lot of hand placed detail. Even over here, towels placed. Uh, there's like an umbrella, I think, which is weird because it's in shaded covers. I don't know why they'd need that, but it's really, really well done. Um, and then we see some of the, the marshlands and I forget what they call these just propeller boats or something. I don't know. I don't watch duck dynasty. I have no idea what I'm talking about with that, but, uh, it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Um, as I choke on my own throat. And then they show wildlife. This is something we didn't really get to see a lot of in, in GTA five. Like there was, there were wildlife systems in GTA five, but really not very much at all. And then they developed a ton of stuff for Red Dead Redemption two. And it looks like all of that's just come over to GTA six. So all of those wildlife systems and na natural systems that were in that game, which had a huge hunting component to it. And of course the whole game was set outside basically now that's coming to GTA six as well. And that's freaking awesome to see. Um, and then we get our first look at crowds and, and crowd density. The first thing that stood out to me was this fellow over here. You see, there's a girl kind of leaning over doing something and he's got his phone. <laughs> he's, uh, he's taken his, his chance, I guess, to try and snap a photo. I'd like to think that he's with her, but he might just be a Floridian pervert, who knows, but there's that. Um, there's also a little bitty dog as well, running around, little chihuahua, which is pretty cute. So that's there. 
the quality of, of models involved with this is crazy. I mean, the character models are all top notch. The hair simulations are all crazy good. Again, the, the post processing with the bloom and with the, the sort of haze effect off in the distance is very, very well done. There is of course, like draw distance limitations. You can see they probably set this up very strategically where they had this pickup here and then all of these umbrellas here to block. So you can't see that there aren't many NPCs being simulated off in the distance, but that's okay. I mean, again, it's a video game. It's not a freaking life simulator, but what is here is very, very well done and very cool. Um, and you can see like the sand being kicked up by their feet as they run. It's just very well done. And then we cut to some boating sequences. You can see um, big jet airliners going off in the distance, huge shipping containers, speed boats galore, tons of stuff. And then highway driving, Kelly County VCI airport, stockyard downtown. I mean, again, just every bit of it looks fantastic. Uh, most of this shore is probably, I don't know if they're taking a picture. It kind of looks like it. So like they're taking a picture of her outside of the car. That's what it looks like, at least to me that he's like filming her on his phone. Kind of looks like that, but yeah, all the little details, like you see the headlight catches the sign as you drive past it and then leaves it. Like there's so much little bitty lighting detail. That's like what mostly is standing out to me is just the quality of the lighting is, is wildly impressive. Um, lots of cars that suggests a lot of car customization, which is cool. Um, we get a better look at some, some party environments, uh, which make it rain Mondays. <laughs> uh, yeah, you gotta have events at your, your place of business. You know, you've got to, you gotta do it. And then we see some character models. Again, the quality is just fantastic. I mean, there's nothing else to say other than it's just very, very good. Um, one thing to note also that we're going to talk about in a little bit is that this is 30 frames. And as we like go through it, you can see the quality is super, super high. So it's not like super noticeable that it's running at a lower frame rate, but I do want to, to just make you bear this in mind because we're going to circle back to it in just a, a little bit. Okay. It's, it's going to be relevant, but they, they kind of say what's up and then they go in and you see more nightlight um, environments, tons of yachts and boats, super yachts as well. I wonder if you can buy your own super yacht. You can in GTA online. I'm wondering if you can do that now in GTA six, that'd be super cool. Um, the variety of cars is also crazy high. I mean, try to spot the same car in two locations. You're probably not going to see it. It's, it's just very, very densely packed. Then you see some nightlife again, crazy, crazy dense, amazing lighting, uh, nightclubs and parties. This just looks straight up like a CGI render, but it's not, it's actually running in the game. And I mean, again, just the quality of the water simulation, it, it's just crazy, crazy cool. And I don't, I don't really know what else to say other than there's a ton of big ships and boats and stuff. And I'm wondering if you can hijack those as well. Hopefully you can, that would be super, super cool. And then we see, this is actually one of the things that's been causing a lot of debate recently is whether this is Lucia as well, or if this is another character. And honestly, I'm not sure. Um, people have pointed like the mole on her eye or cheek right beneath her eye and then there's this beauty mark right here on the outside of her lip and then if we go back to lucia like right here you can see that she has the same mole right there but the mole here is a little bit on the inside of whatever that crease is i don't remember what it's called um coming off of your nose i have no idea she the other one doesn't um oh my god oh my god <laughs> I'm too zoomed in and I hit play accidentally. The other uh, model character doesn't have these other beauty marks and moles and stuff like around the chin and stuff. People are saying, oh, well, that's just makeup. So it's, yeah, it's not going to be there, but it's because it's makeup that's covering it up. I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. I think there's reason for debate. I have no idea if it's the same model or same character. I have, I have no idea. Like, And it doesn't really matter. 
who cares? But this has weirdly started a lot of drama is people debating whether this is Lucia or not, which is funny to me. Uh, beyond that, I mean, you can see this is some sort of party up in the top area of one of those skyscrapers. Makes me wonder if this is like the player's apartment or if this is something for a main story quest line or something. But again, it's just very, very well done. I mean, the level of detail everywhere is just fantastic. So it looks great. And then we get the big vice city sign. And then we get what is perhaps the funniest part of the trailer, which is all of these little kind of vignettes of storylines within Florida. And if you don't know, Florida is just like a bizarre place. Um, I've been there a lot. I like to vacation in Florida a lot, but <laughs> if like the stereotype and the joke is that if anything crazy happens in the U S it's probably in Florida. Like, uh, if, if, um, there's some guy that's caught walking his pet alligator. It was in Florida. If there's some guy that has tattooed himself completely to look like the Joker and then gets arrested for indecent exposure, it's probably in Florida. Like it's just a crazy, crazy place. And sure enough, they've managed to hold to that same standard here. And they do this with all of these kind of faux social media posts in the game. But these are actually direct, uh, like, I guess you could say they were taken from real life videos and clips that um, have also been released and people have seen because there's actual videos of people like pulling alligators out of their swimming pools because this will happen. I mentioned this before, but Nikki and I were actually looking at houses in Florida around Tampa, Orlando, Kissimmee, a bunch of places like that. And it's actually pretty rare to have a pool like this that's just open to the outside because this happens. Most pools, especially if the house is like 20 years older or, or newer than 20 years old, they all have enclosures built around the pools because this happens. There will just be an alligator swimming in your pool that wandered in, just like a stray dog or squirrel. It's just, it's crazy. So uh, this unfortunately is a real thing <laughs> that does actually happen. But yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's real. This was an actual video of somebody riding on top of their car twerking. This was this was just taken from that actual video. Yeah, it's a it's a thing. Yeah, the donuts in the city streets. This happens. I did see a video like this of somebody doing this, doing donuts, and they uh they lost control like right here and they just plowed into like 10 people. I won't show the video here for obvious reasons, but if you want to find it, you can. Don't do donuts in city streets with people standing around publicly. I don't, I, I'm sure I don't have to say this, but don't do that. It's stupid. And you can run over a lot of people very quickly. Uh, and then more people dancing. The best song right now. Long time coming. We really out here. Out, out here. Out here, maybe? I, I don't know. Um, this, the, she is bomb. Finna spin the block with this one. Hey, yo, catch a vibe. All of these comments feel like they are something I would say if I was trying to be really hip, like the, the cool kids. Um, <laughs> been a spin the block with this one. Should I start saying that? Should I start saying that? Whenever we see something really cool in a trailer, should I be like, finna spin the block with this one? Like I should. Maybe I, I'll finna do that. And then uh, an alligator climbing into a convenience store. This is also something that's happened in Florida because of course it has. I like how casual some of these people are. Like this guy's leaning against his truck and it's just like, yep. Another day in Florida. <laughs> just just another day. Just another day. Dude, Florida is just such a crazy world. I'll tell you what. Um, and then we get to see like a SWAT cam, basically. It's actually kind of cool. They have the, the body cam logo, their version of it. So this makes me wonder if this is going to be in the game or at least be like a part of a mission or some mechanic or something. But they're... Yeah, it looks like the player is playing as somebody breaking into like a drug den or something, which is kind of cool. And then a naked man running from the police. This is also something that happened in Florida because of course it is. Yeah, some of these standing on their truck as they're driving it also happened in Florida. The guy with the really sunburnt, saggy back and the visor watering his pond. Yep, this is, this is also a real thing that happened in Florida. It's just a crazy place. Florida is just crazy. And I think that's the takeaway. What's funny though, is like people have brought this up. GTA is normally like 
a parody of American, like American civilization and culture. It's supposed to take it and be like, look how outrageous this can be if we turn the knob up a little bit. Everything they're showing in this trailer is just America. <laughs> like there's nothing exaggerated here. You can find the actual video clips of all of this happening in reality, shot for shot. You know, it's like none of this is actually an exaggeration of reality. It's just reality, which I thought was really, really funny. Um, they also have on this Thrill Billy Mud Club. This makes me wonder if it's part of like a TV show. Maybe you audition for, you know, in GTA 5, there was like the the sort of X Factor um, spinoff parody show that they had. Maybe this is like Thrill Billy Mud Club is a TV show. You go and you have to like wrestle in or something. I don't know. Um, but it seems to be taken from a, a cut scene where they're showing the show. That's at least what I would take away from the logo being on screen. But I mean, also tons of mud systems, the same systems they developed for Red Dead 2 seem to be present here, which is pretty cool. The lady with the two hammers in her PJs. Yep. This is also real life Florida. This also reminded me a lot of uh, cyberpunk, just all the greens and reds at a rave, which is pretty cool. Looks really good. It cures emotions. America's favorite disassociative angstapan. <laughs> I cannot wait for all of the little like commercials and poster boards and stuff for, for all of this. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. One thing about the mud section that people brought up, um, thank you for reminding me in chat. It appears that there are kids because these are like, even if you take into account the perspective shift, it appears that these are smaller than the full size adults. So for the first time, I think ever in Grand Theft Auto, there's going to be kids in the game which it wouldn't be the first time because in, in Red Dead Redemption 2, there were kids, of course, but they're still pretty rare to find. But apparently in GTA 6, there's going to be kids. I, do with that what you will. I, I don't really know uh, what to to do with that or take away from it. But And then beyond that, they go along, they go along more driving. You see the police cars coming in. I just love Angstapan. I, I love that. Um, then we get our first look at the male protagonist that's been rumored for a long time. And he actually looks a little bit different than he did in the leaks that happened last year. Um, and I actually think he looks better personally, but we don't get to see a whole lot of him. It's definitely they're framing it as Lucia is the the primary player character. And then he's sort of like the secondary character. And then we see Lucia again. And again, it's all framed around this Bonnie and Clyde concept that's been rumored for years and years and years. And it seems to be true. Again, you see cars flipping all this again, real Florida stuff. Remember I mentioned the crazy guy tattooed to look like the Joker. This is a real thing uh, that also happened. And they brought that up in the game. And then street racing, dirt bike, dirt bags. Cops failed to stop thugs on motorbikes terrorizing Vice City. Um, Leonida man sucked up in water spout demands the city buy him a new suit. <laughs> There's all sorts of stuff like that. Um, more character models that look crazy, crazy good. Uh, again, like high rollers, mag high rollers lifestyle. It seems like there's a lot of these social media posts or advertisements or TV commercials and things that are in the game that they're showing here, which is interesting. Makes me wonder how much of a, a role that's going to take place in the game. And then you see, I mean, this is again, another example of just the crazy level of detail in these rockstar games, every single bottle, every bag of chips, it's all just so carefully modeled and textured. And there's like barely any repeated assets. It's just crazy. The level of attention to detail they've taken. It's wild. More driving around, more racing around this little thing. Trust, trust with a beer controller, some money on the table. And then they storm into this. And again, I mean, you see just the level and quality of lighting is just crazy. But this is kind of the story. This is how they're framing it is that it's a Bonnie and Clyde adventure type of thing. And it's, it looks pretty good. I don't know what else to say. Now, a lot of people have been like, well, we don't actually get to see a whole lot. We don't actually get to see gameplay. We don't get to see combat. We don't get to see any of that. And that is true, but every, Rockstar trailer for the last like 15 years that they've done have shown the game actually running. It's not actually like pre-rendered cinematics passed off as gameplay. It's actually in the game. And so I, I would fully expect that this is how the game actually looks running on a PlayStation 5 or Series X. I don't know what the resolution is like or what, how they manage there, but I would guess that this is actually what the game looks like when you're playing it. And when you transition to gameplay, it's probably 
pretty similar because same thing with Red Dead 2. The game looks great in cinematics and it still looks great in gameplay. Like I don't, I don't expect there to be a huge shift um, from gameplay to cinematics. But perhaps the elephant in the room for a lot of people is that it only runs at 30 frames as far as we are aware the trailers in 30 frames and they're they're not saying or discussing 60 frames or anything like that and here's the deal by the time this comes out because it was announced to be releasing in 2025 which is a little bit later than people were expecting and actually a good number of investors are not thrilled about this date because they were led to believe it was going to release holiday of 24 hearing it's coming 25 which probably means it gets delayed into late 25 that's not great because it pushes it out of the initial fiscal year they were expecting so a good number of investors actually watched this trailer and were pretty frustrated by it which i thought was interesting but Setting that aside, by the time this comes out, we will be five years into the PS5 and Series X and S, I guess, console generation. These console generations are only expected to go on for seven to eight years. We will be the majority of the way through the generation when this comes out, okay? And I, I think we've been very fortunate to have a lot of games support 60 frames on console, but... At the same time, part of the reason that they've been able to support 60 frames is because they are games built largely during the PS4 and Xbox One generation. And then they're like cross-generational or maybe later in development, they were delayed out of COVID. And so they got the chance to focus on next gen only. And so they were kind of upgraded a little bit, but not that much. And they offer 60 frames on the PS5. But like Overall, it, they're not games built from the ground up for the PS5 and Series X. At least a lot of them that we've gotten have not been. And as a result, 60 FPS has been relatively easy to achieve for a lot of these games. And people have come to expect it and they've started demanding it. I mean, you guys remember the outrage when Bethesda said that Starfield was going to run at 30 on console. People lost their minds. Now, the reason I was frustrated by that is specifically because it was a first person shooter. I don't like playing first person games at low frame rates because they make me motion sick. That's just the fact of the matter. Like 30 FPS on console first person makes me motion sick. So if that's the only option, I probably can't play the game. Thankfully, it also launched on PC where I could get faster frame rates and it was okay, but that's just personal to me. Other people just don't like it in principle or whatever, but for me, it's because it actually makes me sick. As for GTA 6 though, it's a third person game. 30 FPS really doesn't bother me. It didn't bother me when Red Dead launched. It didn't bother me when GTA 5 launched. It didn't bother me when Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom launched at 30. I don't think 30 FPS is that big of a deal. I understand a lot of people are frustrated by it and are saying, hey, we're in 2023. And by that time, we'll be in 2025. We should be able to achieve it. But frankly, like you have to remember the PS5 and like Series X and S, they're considered budget like computational hardware like they're they're considered to be entry points for people to get into gaming and then if you want the high-end experience you go to pc on the other flip side it looks like the game is not coming gta 6 is not coming to pc at launch they've only mentioned ps5 and the series x and s which is not surprising at all because they've never launched on pc the same day um for the last like, 15 years i don't think they ever have but at the very least they didn't with gta 5 or red dead um, and certainly not for um, Red Dead Redemption 1 back in 2010. So I understand it's frustrating for people, but like these are devices that are built to toe the line between affordability and power, and they lean much more towards affordability. And looking at this trailer, I can understand why they might need to run it at 30. And frankly, I think most people, when they're playing this on console, are going to be playing this at 30 and very quickly forget that it's running at 30 and they're not going to care because the rest of the game is going to be so good. Like, I just think if you're playing GTA six and your takeaway is no, I mean, I would have loved it, but it's only at 30. You were never going to be happy. Most people are going to play this and be so blown away by everything else going on that the frame rate's going to be an afterthought, which is probably what it should be for most people. And the other piece of it too is, I mean, you can tell when we're doing these freeze frames, Rockstar employs a very good use of motion blur. Um, you can see it all over the place whenever anything is in motion. <laughs> what a what a great freeze frame. Um, <laughs> I really know how to pick them. But 
you can see it, it just smooths out each one of these frames so well. And you can tell it like within this, but what this does is when it's actually in motion at 30 frames, you can't really tell the, the stuttery nature of it. it. It smooths it out from frame to frame and makes it feel much better than just a raw 30 with no motion blur or anything on. I know some people like absolutely despise motion blur and I understand that. And for, in some cases with some games, it can be done really poorly and it can make you motion sick or, or whatever whatever else, but Rockstar's always had a great implementation of it. And it kind of reflects real life and also cinema because cinema um, cameras, they have something called the, the rule of 180, which is basically that whatever your target frame rate is, you flip it. And so if my target frame rate, like for this stream is 120 or not 120 is 60 frames per second, this camera, I will have set the shutter speed at 120th or a one 120th of a second, which means as I move my hand, if you were to pause the frame, as I move my hand quickly, it will be blurred because the lens or the, the sensor was exposed to light for one 120th of a second, but commensurate to the, the frame rate, it looks right. And at 30 frames, you have one 60th of a second. Usually is how long the light is actually coming into the sensor per frame, which is what makes it give this more aggressive blur um, to smooth it out. And so I think they've always done a really good job of smoothing this out. And Rockstar is one of the best in terms of implementation of uh, motion blur. But that's perhaps just my opinion. Just my opinion. Altogether, I don't think it's that big of a deal. He took my thing. <laughs>